is this dude doing here? Well, clearly trying to get into the head of the competitor inside the ring. Wait, is he is he headed over here? Oh yeah, I think we're having a little guest. Oh no. Show a little respect, Saxton. We're lucky to be graced by his presence. Look, whatever you do, do don't give him a headset. You can't focus on who is ringside. You have to focus on the opponent in the ring. Speak for yourself, but I'm always happy to have company here at ringside. The bell sounds, and hopefully everyone's head is in the game right about now. So much for a fair fight. What's unfair about checking a fellow superstar's reflexes, Saxton? Oh, really? Is that what you think that was, Cole? Springboard! Watch <laughs> That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Staved off that attack. Canadian destroyer! Don't come over here! Cole, quick! Use Saxton as a human shield! Rhodes denies the attack. And he slides him back to the mat. Springboard drop kick! Turns it around. He moved, but can he capitalize? Good timing with that reversal. Yeah. Oh, this this may end it right here, right oh. now. Canadian destroyer. You hit a move like that, you're not just trying to win. You're trying to keep your opponent down indefinitely. Akira Tozawa is a bit of a live wire who has explosive offense and underrated grappling. Corey, how do you deal with a superstar as volatile as Tozawa? Tozawa has those skills you mentioned, Cole, but he can also be a wild card. If Tozawa's opponent stays patient, they can capitalize when Tozawa makes a mistake. And he gets the shoulder up before two. Getting that shoulder up seemed to be pretty easy. Rip record. to his opponent. Okay, consider that a harsh lesson. Tozawa gets countered. Picking up speed, building momentum. Trying to change the tides of the match. No try in the Super Bowl. And an Irish whip into the corner. What is, sit down. Uh, clearly our guest commentator taking a vested interest in this superstar. Hold on, guys. A little confrontation here. Oh! That's what you get for taking your eye off the ball. How could you blame him, Corey? Allow themselves to be distracted from the task at hand. And it provided a valuable opportunity for their opponent to regroup. And now gets tossed into the ring. Oh. Yeah. String board drop kick. surprise got him set up in the corner of the ring headlock applied and a nice short jab to the bridge of the nose yeah. yes. first DDT he's in a little bit of trouble now well, all things considered Cole it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match here the talk in the locker room the anything you can do I can do better mentality that's been building between these competitors I've noticed just how much they've been trying to one up each other as of late and I'm liking what I'm seeing He's got him in the crosshairs. Rhodes from the middle right through the air. Cody Connor. Cody Rhodes lining it up. Rhodes about to head to the pay window. Crossroads. Cody Rhodes nailed it. Is it enough? The cover. No. Oh my, that was close. I truly thought it was all over there. Talk about resilience. Yeah, but did you see how the referee had to get into position? That was all the difference. Rhodes hopes for victory dash for the time being, but you know he won't settle for long. Yeah. Back elbow completely yeah. cuts them off. All right, Hurricane Rana. Ooh. Ooh, what a damaging blow. Oh, wicked. 
wicked kick to the lower back. Yeah. Oh, this, this may end it right here. Oh, yeah. oh, flipping pile driver spiked. Tazai was looking to leap off the top rope. Right? From the top. Out, simply refusing. Oh, big knockdown, another clothesline. Building momentum. This superstar managed to win. Just a relentless assault from Akira Tozawa. Rhodes has to find a way to turn things around. And finishes up high with a knee to the jaw. Cover! Two count, digging deep for a kick out. Getting dangerously close to ending it all there. From the top, Tozawa! Is it enough for Akira Tozawa? There's two! How on earth could he not keep him down for even one at this point? That was plan A, and it didn't work. He must be thinking about plan B at this point. Rhodes about to head to the pay window. And this could do it. Crossroads. Tozawa looks out of it. Looking for the victory. Two. Only two. I don't know once he executed that, it was good night. You have to wonder how much more can he take? Disbelief on the face of the American nightmare. What's he going to have to do to put this away? Springboard drop kick. shaking my head in disbelief over how he managed to get the shoulder up. The WWE Universe is on its feet. And deservedly so, these superstars are holding nothing back. Elbow drop. This could be big, going up high. From the top. Takes another trip to the skies, and it pays off once again. You can see as he rises how vulnerable of a position he's in. From the top row, Tozawa manages the counter. Finally, Tozawa's able to interrupt his attacks for a moment. Tozawa isn't allowing that burst. He just took on to end him. Fails to connect on the springboard. Cody Rhodes felt that coming. O'Connor roll. Rollers are down. This could be it. Referee in great position. His opponent by surprise. Sometimes a match can't live up to the hype, guys, but that one sure did.
The following contest is a six-man tag team match. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 766 pounds, Solo Sokoa, Jimmy Uso, and Roman Reigns, the Bloodline. The WWE Universe has been counting the days, hours, and minutes for this match to start, and the countdown is almost over. Damian Priest has arrived. A man who will bring judgment to all of WWE. And their opponents, first representing the Judgment Day from New York, New York, weighing in at 249 pounds, Damian Priest. No longer cares for the WWE Universe, no longer cares for the rest of the locker room because he has found his true family, and the Judgment Day is their name. Multiple title reigns in his career already, but Priest wants even more. And there's nobody who can stand in his way. The Prince has arrived. A man who has passed judgment on all of WWE. And representing the Judgment Day from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor. Well, Finn Balor is a true fierce competitor who will beat down anyone in his path. Balor has honed his skill set and turned his entire body into a weapon. Hey, let's not forget, Balor is a very gifted technical wrestler. Yeah, Balor also has a very nasty attitude. Who are you to pass judgment on a member of the Judgment Day, Byron? You can see the intense focus and drive in the eyes of Finn Balor. When it comes to Finn Balor, it's always about competing at the highest of levels. An excellent high flyer with an amazing family lineage. But now is looking to make his name at his family's expense. 
And from San Diego, California, weighing in at 200 pounds, Dominic Mysterio. Byron, think about where Dominic made his debut at SummerSlam. You cannot ask for a higher pressure situation, yet Dominic Mysterio thrived and showed how much he has truly learned from the guidance of his father, Rey Mysterio. Dominic certainly wise beyond his years. He can do things in the ring that sometimes takes others years to learn. I think Dominic Mysterio has all the potential in the world. I agree with you, Cole, and it looks like Dominic's already starting to realize that potential. Attack back. the WWE Universe has been salivating for. And here you see Solo Sokoa, Jimmy Uso, and Roman Reigns. And on the other side of the ring, they are facing off with Damian Priest, Finn Balor, and Dominic Mysterio. Quick tags and staying fresh are imperative in a tag match. The question is, which duo has the better teamwork to stick to that strategy? Set up for something in the corner. Oh my goodness, double gut buster. That might have broken some ribs. With the reversal. Ah, strong impact. And he has an answer for Priest. Sequence of reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. He's returning fire. Oh, what a wind up. Oh. In a six man tag match like this, what's the best strategy for each side to take? You have to avoid bad matchups. You've got to pick your targets carefully and not let yourself get tangled up with a guy who's got your number. No, it could Shows that this is still anybody's match at this point. He's ejected from the ring. And what a maneuver we just saw there. Oh, Finn Balor with the overhead kick. Getting him into the corner. Just unloading knees to the body. Oh, drop kick. Jimmy saw it coming. to compose himself. Looks more like taking a moment to gloat. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. Able to reverse that one. Uh-oh. Stomping away. 
just ruthless. Here's a snapmare. Out to the apron. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Oh, man. Suplex right out of the apron. Priest dodges on that. choice for the Mysterio. And well-timed maneuver there. These are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is exponentially multiplied. Right in the face. My God. Boom. Look at this athleticism. Unique takedown. Tag is made, and here we go. Back suplex on the apron. Whoa. Jimmy saw it coming. Went into the corner now. Superman punched by Reigns. No coming back from Reigns after that. Position for both superstars. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness! A rope step! Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off! Now that was a harebrained idea to try that. Was trying to find a way to attack, but completely wiped out. Superstars have endured so much punishment. Certainly looking worse for wear, but the tide can shift at any moment. What a counter! Placing them right where they want. Reigns delivers a Superman punch. Not done. And a well-executed move we just. 
saw there. Will that stop Priest? Now let's take a look back at these guys in action. Here are your winners, Roman Reigns, Solo Sokoa, and Jimmy Uso. The Nice teamwork by these three to pick up the win. Show up, get the W, and get out. Not a bad night's work, I'd say. Oh, get ready, guys. There ain't nobody meaner than Tamina. It's not surprising that pretty much yeah. everyone has to be on the defensive around Tamina. She just loves hurting people. No, she just loves to flex her power. And there ain't nobody Mina than Tamina. Unparalleled aggression and next level brutality. I'll tell you, nobody makes an entrance quite like Oscar. A grand entrance for a Grand Slam champion. Oh, no! Think about this, gentlemen. Oscar has a combined 914 days without defeat in NXT and WWE. And Asuka has remained dominant even after that historical streak. If you want to earn respect, if you want to make a name for yourself in the women's division, you got to go through the Empress. A truly destructive force, a buzzsaw in the women's division. If you are lacing them up against Asuka, be prepared for the fight of your life. Corey, what do you think of the champ's chances here tonight? I love them. I'm not like everybody else, Cole. It seems like everybody's ready to write the champ's demise, but not me. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. And his 
for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers, Tamina and And their opponents, they are the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, Nikita Lyons and Zoe Stark, the Bad Girls. The WWE Women's Tag Titles have quickly risen to prominence. chance to speak with the women's tag team champs earlier and they seem confident in this match. Of course they're confident Saxton. You don't become a champion in WWE without being confident. Not that you would know. Counter! And now there's an opening. Oh and a headbutt. Able to tag her partner. Counter from Asuka. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. Combination. Oh my goodness. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. Uh oh, she has trouble coming. Not going to be easy to get out of this. Think about all the. Oh, this is unique. Oh man, what a counter. Great escape. Across the top rope. Clubbing four. Oh. Great awareness as he proves to be too quick. That gets reversed on Nikita. Impressive reversal there. She's pushed into the corner. Nikita getting out of harm's way. Oh, and that buys some time. Suplex. The champ trying to roll with these hits. She gets it. Oh, the close line. Forcefully delivered. Oh, God. She did her homework there. What a hit from Asuka. Asuka with a classic combination. A brutal series of strikes with a championship on the line. Two and a half, Jeff is alive. Can you believe it? Can you believe she powered out? To retain the title. Quick count after one. Unbelievable display of will in the late stages of this matchup. is more often than not gonna provide such a result. That was an example of boldness backfiring. Dropping the arm. STO! Oh, ooh. the hit's adding up a little on the champ. And there's the tag, Tamina into the ring. Right across the knee. Heel hook oh. locked in. This is painful. Connects on the kick. Oh, catches a kick to the face. Gonna 
see here. Uh-oh. Tap oh. out and call it a night. Ah, submission locked in. Nowhere to go. Oh, look at this. Ah, oh, just breaks the grip, delivers an elbow, and just like that, she's back out of it. As the legs wrap, Fisherman suplex. The challenger is not in a great place. Yeah, they stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Taps out the knee. Here we go again. Lions with a split legged leg drop. The title's going nowhere. Kiss you cover by the champ. She's still got something left. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Here's her tag. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. Have you ever seen such disdain from this superstar for the other? This is so chaotic. We're taking so it to a new level here tonight. I don't think either one of these superstars will ever be the same after this match. Great counter. Oscar looks to capitalize after the reversal. Both knees in the face. entertained, but the entertainment on that one was off the charts. Here are your winners, and still, WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, Nikita Lyons and Zoe Stark, the Bad Girls. And a big time victory for this tag team here tonight. Each of these women could contend for a title alone, but together, they may never lose a match.
The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, accompanied by EO Sky from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Dr. Britt Baker. The WWE Universe more than ready to see this one start. This is going to be good. A major match ahead of her. She plans on proving exactly why she's worthy of big matches like these. Here comes Trouble, a superstar who is always ready for a fight. And she won't let anything stand in her way. And from Auckland, New Zealand, the WWE Women's Champion, Dakota Kai. She's got a ruthless attitude, ruthless kicks, all in the name of damage control. The captain of Team Kick is long gone. She is now the assassin of damage control. Yeah, the chip on her shoulder has grown even larger since coming back to WWE. This woman with her eye on the opposition ready to show how well she can hang with the champion. Tano isn't on the line, but she can clearly raise her stock around here. A win tonight could definitely set her up for future opportunities down the line. Or could send her back to square one if she loses. A lot on the line here tonight. Let's see if she rises to the occasion. And then you have a competitor like Dakota Kai. Certainly with no shortage of confidence coming into this match. You have to wonder if that could possibly be her downfall, though. Only if you haven't been paying attention, Saxton. I know you think there is such thing as too much confidence, but in Kai's case, it's only made the captain team kick that much more dangerous. And that prevents any offense from Dakota. Thunderous kick. And another one. Oh, that was creative. And Kai showcasing that attitude that's made her such a threat. Turns it right around with a counter. Placing them into the corner. Kick! Let me tell you something about Dakota Kai. She always has a plan for how to win this match. All she needs to do to get the victory here is to set that master strategy into motion. Kai certainly does seem to always have a scheme in mind for her matches. We'll see if that's the case tonight. Middle rope. Big mistake there, Corey. Well, she knows that now. Can they go on the attack? It. Across the ring, and I figured this was going to happen at some point. That's a shame. Shoulders down, this could be it. The shoulder just gets up. Her will to not give up fully on display. Dakota wards off the attack. She catches Kai with a big counter. I mean, the fuse has been lit here, guys. Yeah, Saxton, now we'll see if this is dynamite or a double. Face first. And perhaps Dakota Kai's confidence got a bit shaken there. Insulting. Oh, look at the knees. Endless knee strikes. Close to ending it all there. 
carefully measured knee. Dakota is struggling to defend herself. Full court press being applied to Kai. Withstanding what has taken out many other competitors. And there was some force on that move. She starts to rise back up, but does she know where she is? Whoa! Oh, just completely off target there. That was an absolutely hat on the apron. Oh, God! <laughs> Expected that one. the sturdy upper hand. She's become relentless at this point. Dakota Kai looking for a little real estate to work with. Here she comes. Face one. Kai now looking as threatening as ever with a stark look of confidence on her face. Planning on what to do next. Bang! Damnation kick. Has Dakota settled this? It wasn't enough. She kicked out. How close was that? That was about as close as it could get without it all being over for her. And that has to be a setback. For Dakota. She didn't expect a kick out there. Here we go. Look out below. It doesn't matter if you're on the outside of the ring. There is no place safe when you face such a risk taker. Oh, 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 strong knee connects. Oh, that was just malicious. Insulting. Get under the ropes. <laughs> Dakota Dodgers. Sound the alarm. <laughs> I don't know how you survive that. <laughs> My God, what a striking display. Dakota seems unable to turn the momentum here. Kai's having trouble getting her bearings. Dakota interrupts the attack. Dakota doing what she can to alter the beatdown. Could be the tie turn Dakota desperately needed. This place has come unglued. Right foot zone. Foot to the belly. That was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. Survive after that, but Kai displaying a lot of guts. Was not able to seal the deal with her best move. Now she's asking, what more can I do? She's just appearing powerless to each attack. She has to build the strength to turn the tide. What a bionic elbow! Oh, it didn't go as planned there. And Kai finally able to mount some resistance with that. If Kai was looking for an opportunity to pull a 180, that could be it. She's getting clear of that one. Oh, out. The suspense this crowd is feeling is palpable. They are waiting with bated breath for what's to come next. And Kai showcasing that attitude that's made her such a threat. See here. It's off. Uh, oh. Oh, she's going for it. She kicks out with force. What does she have to do to put her away? 
I'm asking for the victory here. Where's off the pin at two? Where is she finding the strength? This is unreal. Now let's take another look at these wonderful women in action. Here is your winner, Dr. Britt Baker. A valiant effort, but you can't deny that the earlier distraction had catastrophic repercussions throughout the match. Look, you have to celebrate the fact they won it all by themselves. Were you watching the same match, Corey? They clearly had some assistance. Okay, Saxton, and in basketball, does the person who throws the assist get the point? No, my point stands. What? Kevin Owens is always ready for a fight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens! Credit where credit's due, Owens realized his shortcomings and has refocused recently. Indeed, the prize fighter's back. A look of pure focus on the face of the prize fighter. Because KO always has his eyes on the prize. The one, the only, Logan Paul. And his opponent from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 185 pounds, Logan Paul. Well, love him or hate him, his career is off to an amazing start. You're right, Saxton. This guy nearly ended the 800-plus day universal title reign of Roman Reigns in just his third match. Can he make this his show against KO? His might get higher ratings. Oh, shut up, Saxton. This is always the KO show. hesitates to speak his mind, though it has landed him in trouble more than a few times in the past. Well, luckily, KO is also the kind of guy who's always ready to back up anything he says with his actions in the ring. True. And I'm sure Owens was doing plenty of joy backstage heading into this match. It'll be fun to see how he backs it up. And he'll take on Logan Paul. But if he's expecting a he may get the three count right here. I think so. And referee cuts off the count in one. Oh. Punishment he's taken, and yet he's still in this match. Yeah. Uh, kick to the gut. Ooh, brutal form. Ooh, that might have just broken something. Insulting. 
heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Pose attack gets reversed. Nice close line. Reversal. Can he take advantage? Oh my! Into a driver. He's taking some good hits. Suplex. Dumped up to the floor. Oh my, apron senton. He may be in a bad way here. Kevin Owens showing us what a true fighter looks like. And he slides him back to the mat. Owens high risk. Time down. Consecutive high risk maneuvers and the pace of this match has certainly picked up. On the top. Gets Clara with the axe handle. You have got to be kidding me. Using your body as a missile over. Middle rope. Missile drop kick. With the target. This is more than reckless abandon. This is showing the lack of all fear. Oh, misses the mark. Saw it coming and slowed it down with the back elbow. With a big boom. On the mark. Dominating offense from Kevin Owens. This has become all Owens. Stop by Kevin Owens. Guys, did you think that this superstar would be able to get back in? Oh, and that was a short-lived comeback attempt. What's it gonna take to keep this guy down? Oh, he retaliates! He went right into that turnbuckle. Wicked clothesline! Kale feeling the full force of that attack. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. Impressive counter by Kale. longer can these superstars continue to fend off the feet? There you go. Oh, and that comeback gets shut down. Logan Paul taking it. German suplex. This one is headed outside, guys. And now thrown back into the ring. He has a task at hand, but prefers. Look at this! Oh, take it right to it. No waiting. That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. And he gets set back into the ring. of strikes, a barrage of strikes, endless. Counters! Stunner! Hits the stunner! KO about to sew this up. KO 
putting his focus on the crowd. Don't waste your time with them, Kevin. They're a lost cause. They'll never be good. hunger. He's got that never-ending gas tank. And Owens is stunned. Thought he'd done enough to end it, but he was wrong. Great thinking to stop Owens. Ooh, stiff punch. Listen to this place. There's two. Oh, my God, what a shocker. Able to somehow power out at two. Oh, and a drop kick. And where does it start? A momentum shift. Perhaps it will. Never surrender attitude. And that didn't prove to be the proverbial one lucky shot from Logan, but we know he won't stop until he lands it. Every ounce of the body is a target. Oh my god, and DDT! Spike them. Owens at the mercy of his opponent. And you have to give him credit here. He's fighting even harder than Owens at this point. We'll make more stopped in his tracks. That has got to be the one. Cover! Two! I oh, kicked out. Logan Paul showing why you just can't underestimate him in this game. He's got that insatiable hunger. He's got that never-ending gas tank. 11 Owens realizing he's going to have to do even more to finish this. Lift off. Oh, he doesn't connect. Lucky shot from Logan, but we know he won't stop until he lands it. Look in his eye here, folks. 
Oh, it's gonna happen! He misses the target! Short flight, but a rough landing. DDT! Logan Paul showing no fear up there. Oh, yeah, that fight. Will that do it for Logan Paul? Will that do it? Kevin Owens perhaps showing more fight than sense, but he clearly is still in this one. All the same. And that didn't prove to be the proverbial one lucky shot from Logan, but we know he won't stop until he lands it. at what made that match so special. Here is your winner, Kevin Owens! I can't imagine being able to celebrate, let alone stand, after a match like that. Practically an inhuman effort in terms of resilience on display throughout this match. You really have to hand it to them. They earned this victory. I got a feeling this match is going to be too sweet. You should never do that again, because these two are Japanese legends continuing a legacy in WWE. Already cemented their legacy as one of the greatest tag teams in the world. You're right, Cole, and that's why the tag team division has been on notice since their return. You can see the look of intensity on their faces already. The fun and games are over. I am not envious of their opponents at all. They're in store for an old-fashioned butt-whooping, guys. Oh, Saxton, uh -huh. oh. profits are up. Get your solo cups out. Here comes a smoke. You are legitimately dancing right now. Go on, Corey, stand up. Side to side, left to right. You look decidedly less cool than Dawkins and Ford when they do it, Saxton. Hey, Corey, let me see your swag. Byron, I didn't think it was possible, but you saying what you just did somehow make Dawkins and Ford less cool. What do you and mean? And these guys are dripping with swag. Can you imagine all three of us walking into a club, cutting a rug or two? I can. Byron, you're humiliating yourself. I hope the street profits don't listen to any of this commentary, Byron, when they watch this show back. Look, I am in with the Street Profits. No, Angelo Dawkins. You're not, Byron. You're making them less money right now. The Street Profits want nothing to do with you. Byron, with the Street Profits out here, I can't even get mad at you. <laughs> All right, Michael, high five. All right, maybe not.
The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall and is for the Raw Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 505 pounds. Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, the O.C. And their opponents at a combined weight of 492 pounds. They are the Raw Tag Team Champions, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits. There you see what it's all about, Tag Team Gold. We've said it time and time again, but the Street Profits really are a team that love to have fun. They love to get the party going, have a good time. True, true, but don't get it twisted, Cole. Ford and Dawkins' high energy can translate into some absolute intensity when they really get going. And boy, we should expect them to get going in this one, guys. There's a lot of heat between these teams. I expect some personal shots to be taken in this one. I think the personal shots began before the match even started. And now it's a matter of what team can keep a cooler head towards victory. He saw it coming, taking advantage. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. There he goes, right out of the corner. Oh, jeez. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stomps. Saw that coming from Montez. Carl awards that attack off. Set up for the Israeli sweep. Nicely done. Turning the tables there. Look at that, Saxton. He's running away. Uh, I wouldn't say that. He's just recomposing himself. Battling at ringside can be very unforgiving. You have to be careful out there. No protection out here. No safe confines to speak of. The challenger eating up some damage. Gets him with the counter. Carl gets jolted by the counter. Targets the gut to end the offense. Sequence of reversals there. Left by the turnbuckles. Those two are in such a cohesive rhythm out there. It's like playing jazz, but using your opponent as the drum. Oof. Able to give him the slip. Back elbow blows that one. Back and forth, back and forth. He's looking for the advantage here. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, wow. Straight in the face. My God. into the ring from the floor now. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Pin oh, attack for the championship. No! Two count! How? How? Oh, for spot buster! Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the gut. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. Staved off that attack. Chop block turns the tide on their offense. <laughs> Dawkins, double underhook. We've seen this before. Dawkins is focused on finishing this. Monster. Now that is why they're the champ. Oh! Across the top rope, all the way to the floor. The champion into the cover. Two. Got him, and the 
tag titles. Stay put. Whenever tag team is on the docket, the mayhem multiplies. Here's the proof. today. The Apex Predator has arrived. One of the all-time greats has seen and done everything there is to do in this business. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing R.K. Bro from St. Louis, Missouri. Weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper, Randy Randy Orton is basically a five-star general of psychological warfare. Learned his killer instinct in evolution and has now evolved into the apex predator. Randy's entire body is a weapon. He's forged it through two decades of war. Yeah, Randy Orton is no ordinary man, and, and there's nothing he won't do to take you down. His opponent must understand the presence and the danger in front of him. One of the most methodical superstars in WWE. Every step he takes serves a purpose. Yeah, Randy Orton is always thinking inside that ring and provides no reprieve from the gruesome attacks that he creates. Always a threat with the three most dangerous letters in all of sports entertainment, R-K-O. Industry. MVP has led countless others to success. Yeah, but MVP does not let those others hold him back. He's always, always scheming up something. Here's a man who is no stranger to the sweet taste of success. And he knows how to get a win. MVP will win by any means necessary. Things going here. One of the most decorated third generation superstars in the entire WWE. The Viper is definitely creating a legacy of his own. Orton seems to be in higher spirits these days, but inside the ring, he's still all business. If anything, lowering his guard a bit has paid off for Orton. 
Always having that guard up can be exhausting mentally as well as physically. Randy does seem to be carrying less of a personal burden these days, Corey. We've all seen the impact that's had on his in-ring performance. But he's facing a man who's excelled in every facet of this industry. MVP. He's been a champion, a trailblazer, a mentor. The man has done it all and knows every trick there is. MVP is out here to show he's still got it. Out here to cement his legacy as one of the greats, both through matches of his own and putting his proteges in a position to succeed. MVP brushed up against some resistance there. The veteran didn't have an answer. Yeah, Orton showed there that he still hasn't lost his predatory instinct. The hardest thing to account for against Randy Orton is his experience. How do you possibly counter a guy with two decades of in-ring action under his belt? Against an expert like Orton, it's all about watching him closely. You need to avoid his big moves and chip away at him. Awareness is going to be absolutely key. Oh, holy, meet the barricade. Bam, suplex onto the barricade. Watch out, they're coming towards the announce desk. What the hell are you doing, Byron? And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Orton not intimidated, not even close. If anything, he's the one doing the intimidating right now, Michael. He had no way. Oh, God, that, that, that's a bad landing. That was playing with fire and getting burned. The decision to take such a risk at this juncture is questionable. close to being collateral damage in this one. And that DDT was well delivered. And not a good time for MVP to be getting rocked like that. Yeah, the longer this fight goes on, the more Orton's not gonna make it easy on him. And we are down to the proverbial wire here, guys. The match hanging in the balance. Time to get back in the ring. a boiling point. Morton going to that place could be academic from here. Morton oh, might take it here. The Apex Predator showing no concern for his opponent. Superstars put on quite a show. Here's another look. Here is your winner, the Viper, Randy Orton. This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Lisbon, Portugal, the legend killer, Kelly. Ruthless aggression is alive and well, and this superstar is living proof.
Ruthless aggression is overrated, Saxton. Whatever happened to being ruthful? How come nobody ever uses that word anymore? She loves the reaction she receives from the WWE Universe, and I think she's going to take that energy into the match, too. Zelina Cole, put some respect on the crown's name. And from Queens, New York, Queen Zelina. Winner of the first ever Queen's Crown Tournament. Lest we forget, Zelina also became one half of the most beautiful tag team champions in all of WWE alongside Carmella. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot about that. Get up. She may be diminutive in size, but Zelina is a master strategist inside the ring. And you're about to see her brilliant mind at work. Do you guys have any expectations for this superstar as this match gets underway? Yeah, I expect to see a side of her that we've only seen glimpses of. I'm talking about her mean streak really coming to the forefront. She certainly has that malicious side of her, and it could be extremely beneficial to let it out here. But what about Zelina Vega? Talk about cold and calculating. What about her, Saxton? She's beauty, she's grace, she'll punch you in the face. Take notice of Zelina or face her fury. Vega demanding a Queen's reception, and she is getting it. Close line. Caught with a close line. Oh, yeah, she's saying, let's go, bring it. with their head. She's pumping herself up, reaching out for that burst of energy. Zelina Vega demanding a Queen's reception, and she is getting it. Feeling the WWE Universe on another level. This is her fuel. She's getting herself in the zone, but she shouldn't hesitate much longer. Cold and calculating strategy. We're gonna kick the features off their face. 
We've seen Zelina's prowess as a manager, but now she's become a top competitor herself. A testament to how no matter the situation, no matter her role, Zelina always has a plan. The gears are always turning in that devious head of hers, and it should be no different here in this matchup. Boot to the stomach gives them separation. She saw it coming. Wow. Foot meet back. She sent flying into the corner. Uh-oh. Face first. Zelina's hopes are waning. But Zelina can't allow this burst to hinder her. Oh, knees right to the lower back. And a reverse DDT to follow. They are fading off the WWE fans, now pinning the arm down, and oh, stop right to the hand. Ooh, oh. She's looking highly motivated, getting hyped up. Drop kick in the corner. Perfectly executed. You can't take much more of this. This has just been an absolute taking flight. Big miss right there. Counters. This could be an opportunity. And you know what's next, guys? Zelina won't come back after that. You can tell she wants to put an end to this. He's gonna try it again. Oh, Isn't it enough? Isn't it enough? Two. And now we're about to do it, folks. Now let's get another look at some of the high points of that one. Here is your winner. The legend killer, Kelly. Gressel, perhaps the perfect match. Never any doubt in this win. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation. Now the matchup underway. Oh, the referee, the official's down. And these two don't care at all. What, what about the official? Someone check on him, please. Anybody got a referee shirt? Is that an official start? The referee was able to start the match, so we are proceeding with this match. Yeah, guys, there is no way that doesn't play a part in this one. Saxton, in this business, you've got to keep your head on a swivel, no matter who you are. That was just a quick reminder. This fight is going down right in front of our faces. That's going to cost them the match. 